Also tonight, we're working to get more information on a fire that damaged two homes in Buffalo and have now raised serious questions about working fire hydrants. Neighbors tell us a faulty fire hydrant allowed flames to spread quickly on Nevada Avenue yesterday. The city says a crack in the thread of the hydrant left it unable to pump water. Fire commissioner says his crews use water from trucks right away, but neighbors say precious moments were lost looking for another water source. Regardless of where you live, what can we all learn from this? Some of Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch getting the answers that matter to you tonight. After that fire yesterday in Nevada, we've been talking about this in the newsroom, wondering if there's anything we can actually do to make sure the fire hydrant outside of our house is working. I spoke with Tiger Schmittendorf, who is the deputy fire commissioner for Erie County, and he says anything we would do is illegal and considered tampering. So if we can't do anything, what is being done? Are fire hydrants ever inspected or tested? Schmittendorf told me that varies by community. Some fire departments would fully test the hydrant by flushing it, but others might just visually inspect it, checking it out to make sure it hasn't been painted over. I also asked if there was any visual to show the hydrant was in fact inspected. The answer, frankly, is no, and you should call the water department to see when or if an inspection was done. Finally, what can you do? If you see there's water around the base or if the hydrant is leaking, you should call the water department. That's a sign that something is wrong and that the hydrant might be broken. Until then, the assumption is that the fire hydrant is working, of course, until fire Firefighters get there, and it's proven otherwise. Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.